Can you use a routine MRI to differentiate between arachnoid cyst and epidermoid cyst? The answer is no. Why? Because both of them on MRI, because of the location, they are extra axial. Both appear like CSF on both T1 and T2 and both are on similar locations. I like cerebropontine angle or suprastellar. So how do we differentiate between arachnoid and epidermoid cyst? So the correct answer is diffusion weighted imaging. So when you look at diffusion uh, weighted imaging, if you see epidermoid cyst, it is filled with keratin debris. Okay, so what will this keratin debris do? There will be a restriction in the movement of water. Okay, and because of this restriction of movement in water, there will be restricted diffusion on diffusion weighted imaging. And this will lead it to present as bright or high signal on diffusion weighted Im imaging. If you contrast it with arachnoid cyst, we know that it is filled with pure CSF. So there is no restriction of movement or there is no restriction of diffusion. And this is why it will appear dark on diffusion weighted imaging just like normal CSF. So remember when you have to differentiate between arachnoid cyst and epidermoid cyst, then the investigation of choice becomes diffusion weighted imaging.